sure you go, go in and see who it was made by so I can give them the props they deserve. This one has one special human and however many humans that is there that I don't feel like counting. Oh, so, there's, so it says Keeper Detected. I'm not sure if you heard that. But, um, so that means there's some green, there's some green, oh, two humans are free right now. So I need to go, where's the other keeper though? I'm missing it here. Did I lose that human? Yep, I lost that human. <laughs> See, like, it's that easy. Like, I just took too long to figure out where exactly the keeper was. Oh, there's another keeper, apparently. I put that human up, I guess. Oh, they're over there. That means I have to go through here, kill all these guys. These guys aren't the ones you have to kill in a certain order, which is pretty good at. Oh, I had my boost and I did not. Two humans are free right now, though. That means I have to go and rescue one. Throw them in here. Get out of there. And grab this guy. See, like that, that's the. You notice there, the uh, ledge is destroyed. So the, um. The enemies will. Like, or the humans might possibly fall into the ledge. Especially, like, you can knock them in there as well. If you're not careful, like when you use the boost, it can easily knock them in there. Sometimes, like, I think it's like you don't pick them up or something. If you use your toss and you miss miss the catch, you can knock them in there. Yeah, if you actually have to pick up the green, green arms to get your bonuses. Um, you only get to 5 multiplier. I think it's 10 multiplier on the second difficulty. And oh, there's a key protected somewhere. Where are they? Uh, oh, they're there. No, this isn't one. It's just one you have to kill all of them. Yeah, those guys are annoying. I should get down there. Until I take care of those. There we go. Now one human is free. Where are they? Oh, you can see the arrow shows me where that human is. So I picked him up. Toss him in there. Like, and that's the thing is, there is a strategy to not doing that. Just holding onto the humans and using them to kind of keep your multiplier going, because you can, like, hey, the multiplier will actually d disappear really quickly. And especially on the harder difficulties, it actually goes away faster. So th your speed boost will actually continue more the more you hit through enemies. So if you you can actually use the enemies to get get through a greater distance and also get bonuses for do for killing them like that. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a keeper somewhere. Which keeper is this? Where are they? Oh, there they are. These ones are kind of annoying because they actually usually go through pretty quick. I mean, they're not that hard, especially if you're nearby them. Oh, cool. I actually freed the human right next to me. They're not that hard. It's just kind of... Oh, no. Is this the... This is the no, it's not the keeper. But the keeper, I think, is one of the... It's that kind of uh, enemy. So... I think if you die, you lose your weapon upgrade as well. Oh, you know, they keep protected. Let's see, where are they? I'm trying to not die here. Um, where is it? I don't see them. Uh, like, you can look through a green glow and see the other side of the map from here. Oh, shoot. There they are. There, so I got that one. Oh, no. Like that. And I can't even go down there to catch him. That's... Yeah, yeah, it's actually your gun that knocks him off. Because I was shooting and the shooting, like, bumped him back. I don't think you can actually kill them with your weapon. But you can kill them by knocking them off the ledge. Because they'll keep bumping off the ledge like that. So that is exactly what happened. And if you notice, the uh, red is filled out because they actually died. Um, the red is, is... It has like an empty red there. Because they, they, li they like lived, but they lived in, in a trapped prison life forever <laughs> now. It's kind of depressing to think about, actually. Yeah, it's just I didn't manage to get the key. The key protected? Yep. So yeah, these guys now. These guys aren't that hard. I don't think they'll ever go away. It's not possible to lose that one, I don't believe. Unless I guess you die or something. Um, I think if, think if you die while carrying a human, you will lose that human. Not really gonna try it right now. I sh could just show that off, I suppose, but... Whatever. This w would be a good time since I've already lost two humans. And the, like, secret, secret... Uh, human actually has like a special condition. I don't think it actually announces when they're free. I'm not sure. Should really turn the volume up on here. Yeah, and, and if I didn't have a he my headphones plugged in, it would actually um, it would actually uh, that's where I'm looking for. 
Like, it'll actually talk through the controller, which is really cool. I mean, of course, that's not necessary for... If, is this the one? Yes, this is the one. So these guys, I have to kill them in a specific order. If I break that order like I just did, the key... <sighs> that close. Like, I was that close. There, like I literally just needed to kill kill that one I was aiming at, and I actually shot the one in the back. And because I shot the one in the back, I failed it. That's kind of the thing I was talking about, where they had to do it in specific order, and so it normally goes really, really quick, but then it slows you down like that. It's normally a lot quicker than this, though. I feel like something might have slowed it down or something. Oh, oh. there's another life. Maybe it's just because I'm playing on the easier difficulty or something. Yeah, the easier difficulty, yeah, easier difficulty is definitely not, not going to get a particularly good score for. But I don't think that really matters because I think the scores only matter per that difficulty. Like if you're noticing, I even made a comment on it that my friend hit a high score on like this this game this game mode. But the um, but like in the advanced difficulty, like the level three difficulty. In, how does the key protector where it go this way? Am I missing them? Oh, oh, there they are. There's these things. There's the last one right over here. I think it's. Oh, I lost my multiplier. Yeah, like it goes away that quickly if you're not shooting enemies and you have to like constantly be shooting enemies. Or I think it's to like pick up a human or something. I just didn't pick up a human in time or something like that. So now I've lost, oh, I've lost the special condition human because I didn't. I guess I didn't complete the special edition before. Or special condition, not edition. For the uh, for the thing for like got the boss or whatever. Yeah, like it doesn't really explain what it is. You literally just have to like do every, try everything to figure it out. Which I suppose some people would, would like, or you can just look it up. I think I looked it up. It's like. I was having real trouble with that, that, uh, that, um, the one we had hit in certain order. Like, I was, I was, um, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to focus on not dying to this boss here. Yeah, I was, I think, I think this one you just have to hit all of the sides and then it's destroyed, because you notice the health bar is already in phase one. I just need to get over there. Oh. That's, yeah. They don't want to get hit by there. Yeah. Might be good to get hit by. Oh shoot, now it's on the other side, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, I can just go over here. Oh! You have another life left, right? Not just... Nope, that's over. Wow. Oh, there's my full name there. Something about PlayStation that I don't particularly care for. Is the full name thing. Like, like if you, like if you have a friend, friend online, it'll, um, so I think I'm back at level one now, right? Nope, I'm still on the second level. I think it actually reset my score, though. I think I'm just starting at zero. No, wait, I still have my score up there, right? Or is that just my high, high score versus my new score? Yeah, I think I have to actually start over to get my score, uh, score going again. Oh, yeah, see, I shot him and he, he, um, like started flying back. So I shot him over the sledge, he would just fly over the sledge. Actually, you can fly under these without dropping them in. Which is actually nice when you're doing this strategy to hold onto them. Is you don't, you can, is you can fly back there without worrying about doing it as long as you fly forward to the ground. There's a key protected right here. So yeah, these guys will actually follow a path. You can kind of see the path being shown off by the little blue line there. I ended up dying to that boss literally like last second, which kind of sucked. So it's just now I lost all my score. That's the thing is, this game is like really punishing. Like entirely, entirely punishing. I just want something that's like fast paced, but not punishing like that, you know? That's what I'm looking for. So that's like the question of the stream is... What game is like fast paced like that, but not punishing? Like, won't well, it's not like overly punishing for making just a simple mistake. Oh, that human's free. I don't even know how he freed that human. 
So, but yeah, you have to actually, like... Well, I guess you don't have to. You can probably figure it out just through lots and lots and lots of trial and error. Which I just didn't feel like doing, especially since I was trying to go through trial and error. And then just didn't end up managing to do it. Like, I just couldn't figure it out. Especially since it was a lot more fast-paced at the time. Oh, I lost a human already. What human did I even lose? I don't even know. I think it's the same one I lost last time, too. That's the thing is, it doesn't really explain much, and you legit just have to be paying attention to it, and I'm not really doing that right now. I really should be asleep right now, and instead of playing this, I just wanted to play something like fast-paced action. Oh, I have to kill these guys now before I lose that human, too. Yeah, the game will announce it when there's keepers arriving. It's hard to hear, though, over everything else going on. So, especially since like, it'll actually talk from the controller. I don't feel like it talks loud enough from the, from the controller for that. Oh, keepers detected. Ow, no. Dang it. Gonna pull an aperture science here. And pick up the human. If I shot there, he would have died. Then I'm gonna just die. See if the human dies with me. Or not. I did he? Yep, he died. Pull an aperture science there. T tested the human human subject on myself dying. <laughs> uh that's cool. And unusual. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm just looking for something like extremely fast paced. I should play on a higher difficulty level to actually show off the fast pacedness that this can be. Maybe at later levels I'll actually get a bit, bit more fast paced as well. Probably just like load into another level as well. Just to show each one of them. And the bosses actually are pretty interesting. Like... Like, yeah those two probably look pretty similar, but they do play kind of differently. Let's see. So that human's freed now. Catch him. Oh yeah, and they actually will make noises. And there's actually a lot of custom customizability to this game as well, which is pretty nice. I can show that off maybe after I die the next time. They don't necessarily need the customizability in the game I want recommended to me. If any of my, like, nobody watching this recommends me that. Oh no, this is the one where you have to actually come in the right order. See if you notice? These ones are green, those ones are red. That is very hard to notice though. I actually got it this time. Like especially when everything's all glowing and shining and whatnot. Just have something like that. That being an issue. I like that you can shoot behind you. That is really nice that you can shoot behind you. I just want something incredibly similar to this. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be saying I have zero viewers though. <laughs> no, no, I say that often. As far as like a kind of a joke thing though. I do, I do get some viewers every so often, like I have one one, like one regular viewer every so often as well. Like a uh, shout out to a Ramic 132 I believe his name was. <laughs> probably, probably not here right now, I don't have the com I'm not listening to the comments right now, I'm just going to be uploading this to YouTube and want comments on YouTube for it. Right now I just didn't feel like actually communicating live with people right now. Especially being so exhausted, <laughs> and especially being on a game where you need to focus more on the game than like reading a chat. Oh, I have to go kill these guys. It's all explosion afterwards, which is nice. Oops. Oh yeah. So I guess that's the one that freed. I was like, wait, how'd that human get freed? I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I lost. I didn't get the conditions for the special human here. Like. Like legitimately, I just have to look that up. <laughs> if I want to figure out how exactly to free that one, I probably just have to look it up. So I don't think there's any indication of what it is, you just have to try everything. Which some people may appreciate, I don't know. I mean, this isn't really a video to like, say this game's bad or this game's good or whatever. Like, some people would probably appreciate the punishingness of it. Like, it is an extraordinarily hard game. Like, and people like that in some games, like Dark Souls for example. And I mean, w w and like, once you know what you're doing, you'll definitely do a lot better at it. I guarantee you, 